All right, so when you are starting home setting, see I got just got done doing this app review for the garden planner. And uh, a book I bought a couple years ago, I have a lot of books. I'm a book reader, always have been, stack of books there, Sunday, all my church stuff. But um, what, what ended up happening was, so I'm single, I have this homestead where, you know, I grow, you know, a lot of fruit trees. I have around 70 fruit trees. I've got planted hundreds of berries, blueberries, raspberries, elderberries, uh, just blackberries, <laughs> you know, just all kinds of stuff. And when I first started out, I started out with just chickens and a small garden. That was pretty easy. And then, you know, after I added the chickens and the garden got bigger, and then I started adding the fruit trees, and then I added rabbits, and then I added goats, and then I added beehives, or actually I added the beehives, then I added goats. And all this stuff is more time out of my day, and it really got to a point where I was getting behind all the time, and I'd forget to do stuff that was kind of time critical or time sensitive. And I saw this book online and I bought it. Now I bought this, I think in 2000 and I don't really remember 17 or 18 might've even been 19, but either way I've had it a few years now. It's the back year, backyard homestead seasonal planner, what to do and when to do it. Now I've used this and it covers your garden, orchard, barn, pasture, equipment, shed, uh, Ann Larkin Hansen is the author. I got it off of Amazon. I don't remember the cost. So I have to look it up. Either way, this has been honestly one of the most time-saving, helpful books I've ever purchased. Now, you can watch YouTube videos on how to do stuff. That's great. But it's not going to tell you how to manage time. And one thing I left out is I have a very demanding day job. So I work 50, 60, sometimes more hours a week at my day job. And then I run a full blown homestead. <laughs> so time is something I don't have a whole lot of. Matter of fact, if you were to tell me that, you know, most of the time, if you were to want to tell me that I had to add something that was going to take an hour I would start scratching my head about when I'm going to find an extra hour. Um, because my, my plate's just full all the time, seven days a week. I don't have an extra hour. One of the reasons why I only go to town before I had cancer, I would only go to town one time, one day a month to go to like the store to get anything that I needed. Um, and I would actually try to keep enough stuff where I don't have to go to the store, but maybe two or three, four times a year. So I'm saying every month I would always have like one day I would go to town, but that would be I'd go to town to go to the store, get groceries. I'd maybe stop by Lowe's or Home Depot and get whatever I needed there. Um, and I just take one day a month. But a lot of times I didn't necessarily need to always go to the store or Home Depot every month. I really got it down to where I only had to go three or four times a year. And I just basically did that because for me to go to um, Walmart, it's a one hour drive one way. So just to go there and back is two hours if I don't buy anything. Just to go there, drive through the parking lot and drive home is a two hour round trip drive. So I don't really have that kind of time to waste this book, though, actually made it a little bit easier. Um, what it actually did was allow me to free up some time, and then I added the goats, and then I was out of no, back to no more free time. Um, anyways, I'm kind of showing you like the contents. I'm not going to go in depth into this because might even be some sort of copyright infringement if I'm posting pictures of this online. I have no clue, but I think it's a great book. The first thing they do is they define by the season. So what that means is 
March, which I would consider late winter or the very start of early spring in Kentucky, probably isn't the same weather you have down in Florida or out in California or Texas. So what they do is they define it by seasons, which is your average temperature, outdoor temperature. Um, it tells you like what they consider to be, you know, your seasons defined. This is what midwinter is. This is late winter. This is, and then that way you can line up on your calendar when those events are. They also kind of show you like the average temperatures. But what I'm getting at is, let's go into late winter. So we're kind of in late winter. Um, actually, we're more into like early spring, but let's go to late winter, which was be probably about February, um, even though it's March 13th today. So late winter for me would normally be February. And late winter, you're starting to... Uh, start your seeds indoors, bring out your containers, you're starting to plan for your garden in like January. Um, what you should do in your fields, what you should do for your pasture, what you should do in your orchard, what you should do in your bee yard, what you should do in your barns. What you should do in your chicken coop, what you should do in your equipment shed, what you should do in your wood lot, what you should do for wildlife habitat. And then it goes in depth into each one of those. Now, this doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but I started to realize when I was having the memory issues from cancer that I was forgetting to do things. And this book was really great at helping me remember things that maybe I forgot while I was going through the chemo brain stuff. Um, it also has like how to do things, like how to prune fruit trees. Um, kidding season for animals. You know, it's really a great book. But I think that it's a time saver. And if you go back in my YouTube channel, you'll find out I don't do a lot of reviews. Um... Because I want my word to be meaningful. I don't want to just review stuff and then, you know, there's some channels out there, they review things and I'd go buy it and I'd have a totally different experience. So if I review something and I tell you something is useful to me, I'm doing that because I think if you buy it, it's also going to be useful to you. And I'm not going to jeopardize my name or my word on something that isn't useful or beneficial. So anytime I do a review, you can trust that you're not going to get ripped off by some piece of junk, unuseful information. It's going to be something that you need. So anyways, if you find yourself running out of time on the homestead, it's probably going to be a great book for you. If you're just getting started out, for homesteading this is going to be a great book for you because it's going to help you organize your time it's going to let you know when you should do the things you need to do on the homestead and uh anyways that's really all i've got for this topic as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads thanks for watching